a regular scheduled meeting of the Town of Berlin, Berlin Development Review Board. Spit that out, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> we need a shorter name, DRB. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and um, uh, we have um, two applications before us tonight, or at least we did have. Um, the first application, I don't have my agenda in front of me. Um, That's the, was the continuation the of the of Henry Perrin. Yeah, please. the continu continuation of a. Well, let me read it from the minutes. Okay. I'm from the morning. Okay. Here are we. Thank you, Tom. Uh, continuation of the application by the estate of Henry Perrin for a preliminary and final plan review of a minor two-lot residential subdivision. Um, we also have an application by the Berlin Mall LLC for final plan review of a minor two-lot subdivision um, of 1.94 acres and 63.85 83 acres. Um, Tom, the application of uh, the estate of Henry Perrin. So I received the notice and I forwarded it to the Development Review Board. Uh, they um, uh, decided that through, uh, with the advice of their attorney not to pursue a subdivision. Uh, they didn't think it was required. It was, there was a discussion at the last hearing if it was required or not. Uh, so they uh, decided to pull, the, pull their um, application and they have submitted a mylar uh, reflecting the, the lots now to the to the town clerk so thank you well let the records reflect that um, that application has been withdrawn hello john <laughs> happy new year to you thank you <laughs> oh, do me a favor tom and pull a chair out for well, apparently we have one guest. <laughs> well, I got the letter, so I figured I'd show up. <laughs> well, you, you also be able to sit down. Then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, that application been withdrawn. Um, then we have the other application, which is the Berlin Mall LLC, being represented tonight by Paul Olary with Olary Brook Civil Associates. <laughs> That's the engineer, right? Yes. Yeah, the engineer. <laughs> Sir, which application are you here for? The mall one. Okay. The mall. The mall. The mall. Okay. Um, I'm right next door. Very good. Uh, so, um, this is an application <laughs> for a subdivision. This is an application we heard once before, back in... March or February? February 5th. February 5th. We had the hearing. Yes. Yeah. And um, uh, this application is before us tonight because? Because the state of Vermont has a statute that says that on a subdivision approval, the mylar has to be filed within 180 days of the written approval. Now, the written approval happened on, I think, March 27th. And on our side of the house, everybody kind of forgot about it. It's taken a while to get through the permit process, and then we realized a month or two ago that the 180 days had expired. Therefore, by statute, our subdivision is null and void. It doesn't affect the site plan approval for the residential, but it affects mm -hmm. the subdivision. So we're back to ask for a reapproval of the subdivision. Now, if you recall, with the Berlin Mall, uh, there were a number of outlots that have always been shown on the master plan, outlots A, B, C, and D, and they were never officially subdivided. They were shown on the map as, as a certain area. Now, we are building the new congregate facility on outlot B, so we wanted to subdivide the outlot because my client is going to own the lot, and so we had applied for a subdivision for that lot and provided you with a plat, which is on the top there, that shows outlot B, which is essentially the same as what Berlin master plan showed. A couple of minor little revisions, but I think the master plan had it as 1.96 acres and we're at 1.94. So so that's that's why we're back for a reapproval of the subdivision. Because the survey has screwed up. Uh, 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 
the, the blame falls on me. I mean, we, we have the developer, we have the attorney, and we have us, but typically we're pretty good at tracking these things because it's embarrassing, to be honest with you, when it happens. But it happened, so, so here I am. That's why I'm here and not one of my guys. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Um, and we have somebody here. Did you want to participate in this? No, I just want to see what, what the subdivision was, kind of what's going there, because I'm, okay. I'm right next to it. So I'm, uh, I'm at 802 Cars, Twin City Subaru, and Toyota. So we're sure. literally your name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you seeking party status? No. Okay. We haven't sworn in. And Tom, we haven't sworn I, 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 You're right. My apologies. I um, missed that one. <laughs> um, let me swear in anybody that intends to give testimony before this board tonight. Please raise your right hand. You swear to tell the truth, and nothing but the truth, and no matter before this board tonight, under penalties of perjury. I right? do. And you have not raised your hand, so you don't intend to give testimony. Very good. Um, so, uh, this is testimony we've heard before. Um, but, um, so I, I, I'm going to ask the board's pleasure. Uh, Back in March, we, we back in February, we heard this this application. Um, uh, let me ask the applicant: Are there any changes? No, there are not. The, the, the plat, subdivision. The plat in front of you is identical to the plat that was in front of you on February fifth. Are there any changes to the conditions of development? No. I know you've been through the Act 250, or you're going through the Act 250 process. Almost through, yes. Yeah, and. There have been no changes introduced by that process. Some minor changes that would apply to the site plan, but not to the subdivision. For instance, the we are now going to extend the the town municipal water line um, from Coles across the Berlin Mall property to serve this property. Before we were going to connect to the Berlin Mall water mm -hmm. system, that now we're going to be connected to the town. So that that's a change on the plans, but doesn't change the building, doesn't change the lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, how would the board like to proceed? I, I, we are operating, last time we heard this, we heard this under two sets of regulations. We heard yeah. under the old regulations and the new regulations. This time we're only hearing under the new regulations. Um, uh, this time it's a minor as opposed to a major because the new, sub, new regulations call us a minor. Last time it was a major because the old regulations had a major. Uh, but the criteria are the same. Um, does the board want to go through the individual criteria? <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at the wrong person here. I know the answer. You're going to give me. Well, if it's the same testimony, I, if there's well, nothing yeah, different. I will defer to the others. I wasn't at present at the last hearing, but I will defer to the others because I trust uh, you all. Uh, uh, he testifies that uh, nothing has changed in terms of the subdivision regulations, so I don't see any reason to. Yeah. And we certainly heard it under both. We if it had been before that, that would be questionable. It would be questionable, but we heard it under both. Mm -hmm. um, that's, how, that's sort of how I feel, John. Mm -hmm. And uh, if that's okay with you, Polly. It's fine with me. I know you're dying to hear the whole testimony. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting all week. <laughs> um, did you want to hear any part of this? And I know you haven't raised your hand, so you're not testifying. But okay. Sir, for the record, what was your name? Jose Oliver. Jose Oliver. Thank you. You've Put your name down on the inside sheet. Yeah. yeah, my email and my contact information. Um, what I'd like to do is I, I'd like to note there are a few changes, i.e., that there, this is a minor as opposed to major. So, in terms of poly, uh, in terms of Christie's work, mm -hmm. it's doubled. For us, there's nothing. She has to go back through there and right. eliminate all the references to the previous ordinance that were in there when you write <laughs> this up this time. Yes. Um, and I would note that you need to do that and. Um, uh, you might, I, I also, we've, we've, I think, improved our findings and our conclusions a little bit. Um, for instance, uh, we'd like to include in our, um, we'd like to include in our um, conclusions the need to file within 180 days, mm -hmm. which we did not do. In our last time, and we, we historically do. Yeah. We, we, we missed it. We missed well. it. So, yeah. so um, yeah. the need to file within 100 days is a condition. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't believe there were any other conditions that, that were, I remember, but that no. was one condition. There is another condition, which is the need to notify the zoning administrator 
um, upon completion for the certificate of compliance. Correct. At, and that also goes with their building. It goes with the building, yeah. but it'll be in the building, but it's also going to go with the, the subdivision. Correct. Correct. Um, so, but the filing is the big thing that was missing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we didn't, we had limited findings. Uh, I would suggest, Christy, you might look at the testimony and maybe paraphrase some of the testimony for some of the criteria. Mm -hmm. Are we using the chart for the subdivision? Because that would make it easier, right? Just filled in the chart and added the comments. Um, Isn't the chart the subdivision that I made? Yeah, we were going to use the chart and we haven't done that. Oh, because that might make it easier for us. Yeah. She could just fill it Remember, we talked about a chart for the this, uh, table. This template thing? Yeah. The template. Yeah. And that may be a good way just to go through that. Effectively, my feeling is they have complied with all the provisions of the subdivision regulations, mm -hmm. yes. And um, it's either, they're either not applicable, and in this case, I think almost all of them are applicable, but um, they're, 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 they've complied with it. It's positive comment, so. Yeah. I suggest we might do that that way. Last time, we really didn't have any findings per se, because we we're literally dealing with a brand new bylaw. So, just fleshing this out as we go along. Uh, learning our way through this new bylaw, I think we need to have just a little bit more findings than we did last time. Well, this is helpful too, what they submitted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, did anybody here want to hear any testimony tonight? Any other discussion, i.e., instructions to our recording secretary? So just out of curiosity, will you have to come back to revise the site plan that was approved here? I can do minor changes oh. to site plan. It's, it's, it's a waterline change. Okay. Yeah. So I consider that a minor. Yeah. Unless somebody cares about that. No, I was just curious if there was anything. I don't know if that was the only it sounds like site plan. Change. We were talking before you arrived about <coughs> controversy on the curb cut on the road. Would you point it out, please? Yes. Please, please. Full size one on the knee. So uh, we have, we had a, a lot of conversation about about this intersection. You know, yeah. we're we're installing a new concrete yeah, sidewalk, active 50. active fifty, and with this board. Yeah. So originally, this board uh, made some good suggestions about about trying to improve this this intersection. So we came back a second time with some improvements that we were gonna. We were going to change the radius of this curb to shorten the distance people had to walk across, and then mm -hmm. we were going to make it a four-way stop. Mm -hmm. now, currently, there's a stop sign here, but there's no stops on the other three legs. So, based on this board's recommendations, that's the plan that went forward uh, to Act 250. Now, at Act 250, a member of the commission was concerned that by reducing this radius, that trucks. that trucks, particularly Walmart trucks, that came out we're going to have trouble making the swing, and we're going to have to swing out mm -hmm. into the other lane. Now, as we all know by watching big trucks, that's a pretty common thing that happens. Mm -hmm. You know, in Vermont, you, you back up or you, you know, the truck mm -hmm. driver is aware. But um, we, we argued that we like the plan that, that you folks approved with the shorter distance across. We thought that was safer for pedestrians. The, the commission actually talked about making the radius bigger so that the trucks could swing better. And in the end, uh, the Agency of Transportation attended the Act 50 hearing, and the commission decided to ask the opinion of the agency. Mm -hmm. So the agency came back and said that their recommendation was to essentially leave the radius um, as it was and not decrease it as we proposed. Now, not, not decrease it? Not decrease it. So. At this point in time, we're waiting to hear what the commission decides. You know, uh, we we argued to do it as shown on the plan. We don't know where they're going to yeah. fall. So it's it's we basically said it's not a showstopper for us. You you decide how you want to see it, and that's that's what we'll do. So so that's that's one issue that's outstanding. We we do expect the commission to make a decision. We're hoping they'll make a decision by the end of the month. 
and uh, Dusevich, uh, the developer, uh, expects all his financing to be in place by the end of the month. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he has every intention of breaking ground as soon as he can this spring. Good. Great. So, Exciting. Okay. Well, thank you. That's, that, but that's really not relevant to the subdivision, just as relevant yeah. to the, mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. correct. the background, just so everybody's yeah. on the same page here. Mm -hmm. So it really doesn't need to be part of the subdivision per se, other than note, note that there was a change possible for that. Um, okay. So when do they expect to be uh, usually build time for a building this big is about 12 months. Yeah. So, I mean, they'd like to maybe go a little faster, but mm. but typically it, it's around 11 to 12 months before they're ready to occupy. Mm, great. That's good. It's a little bit longer than a pure residential building because you have, you know, the state, you know, health uh, department approvals right. and, and, and all that. It's just complex. It needs to be done, and it, you know, there's a few extra steps that they need to, a few more hoops to jump through before they're ready to operate. What I hear anecdotally is a lot of, there's a lot of demand. <laughs> People call me all the time. <laughs> wow. Well, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. I assume they've started marketing and all. So. I, I don't think yeah. they have, actually. Oh. But, but I think once the financing is in place and they yeah. break ground, then I'm sure yeah. they'll, you'll start seeing some things out yeah. there. So, so we have a, an Alzheimer component, uh, we have a congregate care component, and then we just have essentially a residential right. Uh, component. Right. So. Great. But all, all senior, a total of 98 yeah. units. So, yeah, it'll be a, it's a, it's a good looking building, and it'll be a great addition to, uh, yeah. to Berlin, hopefully. Definitely. Well, not only Berlin, but some long region. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I would entertain a motion to close this hearing. So moved. One second. Oh, second. John, thank you. Uh, discussion. All those in favor of the motion, you see the by saying aye. 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 Uh, the hearing is closed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Thank, Thank you. you. And I apologize for dragging you out here to hear this <laughs> the second time. It's <laughs> one of our shorter meetings. That's the first, that's the first time people have known by. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to blame it on Tom because he put it in front of me. That's what I'm going to do. I should apologize to Sean for that. Okay. Yeah. Do we review the minutes? Um, I was going to ask for a uh, review of the minutes. Have a good evening. So, thanks. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Have a good evening. Have, have a good evening. Good evening. I would have to say I've been in Vermont for three weeks now. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I came from Haverhill, Massachusetts, and we built a building, a dealership in Haverhill, and I went to a lot of these, and what a difference. <laughs> oh, uh, unbelievable. It just there's no yelling, there's no screaming, oh, yeah. everybody's like, Well this was an easy one. Yeah, yeah. I was like I, I've been to something that should have been super easy five minutes to get in and out and it turns into five hours of people screaming. Oh, welcome. So. Yeah, welcome so, to Vermont. Thank you, Vermont. Awesome. Thanks. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um we do have one item on the agenda, which is the minutes of the uh, meeting of the 17th of December. I was not here at that meeting. Uh, you chaired that meeting. Read. We haven't read. Well, I, I haven't read them. I understand nobody has reviewed them. Okay. Um, in, in that case, I guess I'll take, entertain a motion to um, table those until the next meeting. Sure. So second. Is that moved and second? Discussion? All those in favor of that motion, please say by saying aye. 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 And it is tabled to the next meeting. Okay. Um, and I would ask you to do me a favor and read them. I will. I'm yes. not going to read them because I don't know what was there. <laughs> you don't know what was there. <laughs> that uh, was a, it was a good meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of history. Uh, the, 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 I mean, it's academic because it's been withdrawn. It's just one item, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 But it yeah. still yeah. needs still. to be part of the record. Yes, exactly. yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. so um, of course. <laughs> Oh, uh, like good. Uh, Pardon? Would you like me to send them out again? That would be great. Yeah, yes. yeah include me. Just for chuckle. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> well, I think yeah. Yeah. If nothing else, well, I, I'll, 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 I'll jack up certain people. Holiday. All right. <laughs> yeah, um, we got a history lesson. We got some history lessons. Yes, we did. Because the Nye's evidently was like a land swap and all this. Uh, it, was, it was very yeah, exciting. It was a lot of interesting. The parents' family was just, you know, yeah. a long history. Well, they had a huge farm still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I didn't realize they owned that whole section. Yeah, I right. know. I thought Henry, well, Henry actually owned it, but <laughs> right. yeah. he doesn't apparently. So, yeah. um, if there's nothing to come before this board tonight, we can release Orca. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.